We've all been there, watching the spinning wheel as our computer grinds to a halt, struggling to run even the simplest tasks. You're probably thinking, I need more RAM. But here's the secret. Did you know you can boost your PC's performance without buying extra hardware? Yes, you can. Today, I'm going to show you how to increase your virtual memory and instantly boost your RAM on Windows 10 and 11. Stick around because this trick is going to change the way you use your PC. Let's dive right in. First, you might be wondering, what is virtual memory and how does it work? Virtual memory is a special feature that Windows uses to simulate extra RAM by utilizing your computer's hard drive or SSD. Think of it as a backup for your system's physical RAM. When your computer runs low on RAM, it can swap data to virtual memory, ensuring that your system continues to run smoothly without crashing. It's like a lifeline when your RAM is maxed out, but only if you configure it correctly. To get started, you'll need to adjust your virtual memory settings manually. Don't worry. This process is straightforward and I'll guide you step by step. First, right-click on the Start menu and select System. In Windows 11, you can find this under Setting System About. In both versions, you'll see your PC's system information. But to adjust virtual memory, we need to click on Advanced System Settings on the left side of the window. This will open up the System Properties window. Once you're in System Properties, navigate to the Advanced tab and click on Settings under the Performance section. This will bring up another window. Here's where the magic happens. In the Performance Options window, click on the Advanced tab and find the Virtual Memory section at the bottom. Now click Change. Here's where you'll make the big change. By default, your system might automatically manage your virtual memory, but if you want to increase it, you need to uncheck. Automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Don't worry if these terms sound complicated, just follow along. After you uncheck it, you'll see options for setting the size of your virtual memory. Now let's talk about numbers. For most users, the recommended virtual memory size should be at least 1.5 times your total RAM for the initial size and 3 times your RAM for the maximum size. For example, if your computer has 8 GB of RAM, the minimum virtual memory size should be 12 GB and the maximum size should be 24 GB. You can increase these numbers if you often work with resource-heavy programs like video editing software, games, or large data files. But keep in mind, more virtual memory means your system will use more space on your hard drive or SSD. After selecting your desired values, click Set and then OK. You'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And that's it. You've successfully boosted your virtual memory which can help improve your system's performance when you're running multiple programs or dealing with memory-heavy tasks. But wait, there's one more trick I want to share with you. If you're running low on storage space, it's a good idea to move your virtual memory to a different drive. Let's say you have a secondary hard drive with more space than your primary one. You can set the virtual memory to that drive to give your system more breathing room. Simply go back into the Virtual Memory settings and select the secondary drive under Paging File Size. This will free up your primary drive and allow your PC to run even more smoothly. And there you have it. An easy way to boost your PC's performance without upgrading your hardware. If this tip helped you speed up your system, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more easy tech tricks. Have any questions? or want to learn more about optimizing your PC, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you.